Hi everyone, it's Becky Livingston from Penn Heal Marketing and today I want to talk to you about how ad blockers are kicking your butt and what you can do about it. If you record television shows, you know you're doing it to prevent the ads from interrupting your experience. Well, it's not just happening with television, it's also happening with online advertising. According to a study by Adobe and PageFair, 198 million people worldwide, active online users, have downloaded ad blocking tools on their laptops and mobile devices. And by the end of 2017, eMarketer predicts that 32% of internet users in the United States, that's 86.6 million people, will be using ad blockers. So what's a business owner to do? How does she get the awesome content that she has out to the masses if ads aren't available? Well, here's some ways that you can do it. First, native advertising. It looks and feels like the platform where it's being displayed. For example, Facebook, this ad you see here, or maybe Instagram, boosted posts versus advertisements. LinkedIn also has sponsored content, and some of the other platforms have it as well. When done well, it allows the business to provide content the viewer wants to consume without being overly obnoxious. So what do you need for this to be successful? Images of people get better engagement ratings within better than an inanimate object like buildings, for example. Consider the images you use before placing a native ad in the rotation. Video formats should be shorter than 15 seconds to keep people engaged. Branding and logo placement are also important, but don't make them overly large or obtrusive. Try to make them a little bit subtle. The next one I want to talk to you about is search ads and pay to play. Monitoring and adjusting your marketing budget to include a pay-per-click campaign is a great way to help drive traffic to landing pages with specific consumable content. Remember the key factor of a good landing page before creating the, the campaign is really important. You have a headline, keywords, an image, the forms, all of that kind of stuff. Also conduct good keyword research to connect your content to your target market's search criteria. Write great ads and then share away. Third, leverage influencers. This is one I think a lot of people don't take advantage of. Create content to share with influencers. Influencers have a lot of pull in your target market, so consider ways you can partner with an influence to be a guest writer or an interviewee or a content sponsor. Associating your name with a trusted name among your target market is a great way to bypass the ad blocking tools and get your content consumed. The fourth and last one is content creation in itself. Back to the tried and true, providing content your target market will consume. What is that exactly? It depends on your market. Some prefer video and photos while others prefer text and podcasts. Only you know the answer to that. What your goal should be, however, is to answer your market's pain points. What are those exactly? Look them up. There's a great site. It's called answerthepublic.com. It's a site that you can use to enter just about any topic and to find the most commonly asked questions about that topic, thus the pain points. In some cases, you'll get a dozen questions. In others, you might get a hundred. Work your way around the question list and provide answers to those questions. And if you're still stuck, we have lots of content generating ideas on our website, so take a look at that as well. Beating the ad blocking game is not going to be easy, but with a well thought out plan, you can dominate while generating new leads. So what steps are you gonna to take to beat the ad blockers? You know who we are. We can help you out with some of this stuff if you need some assistance. Check out our blog. We have a lot of great content on there to help people who are generating content to create leads, influencer marketing, all of that kind of stuff. Give us a shout out. Take a look. Share our content if you think that it's great. And we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks and have a great day.